Okay, apparently I have to re reiterate things about the battery. Um, for the Fuji X-T2, people don't understand even though I made four videos, or maybe five videos, about the battery. Now, I made two videos when the X-T1 first came out, X-T2, excuse me. And I was using an X-T1 battery and the X-T2, just the camera body only without a vertical grip. Now, I was shooting a continuous high. You see, there's this neat little thing called current drain, you know? You can, like, run an old engine, and but if you push it too hard, it'll freeze up. Okay, now, I was using uh, the older X-T1 battery, which is the NPW126. Now, other people on these uh, photography boards, which is where all the cockroaches hang out, and now I'm not talking about the one you're thinking of. I'm talking about other forums where knuckleheads hang out. He'll say, well, I saw this guy's video, meaning mine, where I showed a video lockup, um, made a video of the lockup, total lockup on the X-T2. It was just the camera only, and I was stressing the camera to the max. Continuous high, performance mode, you know. You can use an X-T1 battery in the Fuji X-T2. You know, if you say click, 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 or a couple continuous low burn, you know, brr, 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 that's fine. I said specifically in that video a month ago, I said, don't consider using anything other than the NP126 as this battery. People were going, oh no, you could use the, in, the old uh, X-T1 battery. You know, it's got the exact same uh, amperage rating and it's 8.7 watt hours. Both batteries are 8.7 watt hours. And no, 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 no. They, they, they don't get it. They keep talking about heat. You see, there's, and I wrote the article for Apple on how to take care of lithium batteries in the MacBook. Yes, I did. And those links are still up on the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. The way it works is, is that you can sit there and stick an X-T1 battery in your X-T2 body. If you just had the body only, for example, let's forget about the grip for right now. Okay, go out there, take pictures. Click, 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 click. You cannot stick the X-T1 battery in the Fuji X-T1 and like stick in performance mode, stick it on continuous high. The camera will lock. The camera is not designed, the reason for that is, and I'll give you the explanation below, read the description below, I mean I could repeat all this stuff again, it's about current resistance and discharge profile, the way the NP126S works is that it has a discharge profile that if it is tasked, it will deliver. The XT1, and this is very simplified, this is dumbing it down and simplifying, because nobody really cares about the jargon, but I will put the jargon below for all those who want it. The, uh, the uh, XT1 battery, the, uh, the NP126 battery, does not have the discharge profile. When it's tasked, it cannot deliver. And when it cannot deliver and it is tasked, what happens is that resistance occurs. When you have resistance, you have heat. When you have heat, what happens is, is that as the battery is discharging, even though it's taxed, you have resistance, but that doesn't change the voltage of discharge. But when you have resistance, that causes heat. I mean, excuse me, when you have resistance, that causes heat. Once you have the heat, then the voltage drops. And when the voltage drops, then the camera goes, ah, ah, ah. That is when the camera chokes. So people are incorrect and correct when they say, well, you, if you just have the X-T2 camera, only you can use an XT1 battery in it. Yes, but not really. If you're just going to go out there and go click, 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 you know, that's fine. If you task that XT1 battery in your Fuji XT2, then what happens is, is that the discharge profile peaks, resistance is created in the XT1 battery, that resistance translates into heat, and every god of lithium batteries will tell you is once you have heat in a lithium battery, then the voltage profile for it takes a nosedive. And once the voltage, pro once the voltage drops and the, can the battery is still tasked, then the camera or whatever device it is will seize uh, or shut off. Depends on the device. In the case of the X-T2, it'll freeze. So yes, you can use the X-T1 battery in the body only of the X-T2. But if you think you're going to push it right to the limit, right up against the wall with the X-T1 battery, no. So just keep things simple. Okay, let's just keep it simple. Let's say, only use the X-T2 battery, which is the NP126S in your X-T2. It came with your camera to begin with, for God's sakes. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, did, did I did I clarify that? Um, let me go over some of the jargon. The XT2 battery peaks, uh, excuse me, packs are better battery cells because they differ. The design cells that yields a lower resistance and temperature at higher current rates. More the battery temperature rises, the worse the battery output. The XT2 camera freeze is due to power threshold being crossed. Current XT1 series cameras have two battery contacts. XT2 has four. This is the work with the new cells. The MP126S withstand the higher temperatures. The, uh, in the W126S, i.e. the X-T2 battery, has a different uh, cell with a lower internal resistance. That will result in lower temperature rise for given... The temperature is only resultant to resistance. You see, it's kind of like having a small opening on a ketchup bottle. You know, you can only squeeze so much ketchup out of it. That is the problem. See, this is the perfect analogy for people to understand it. They don't really give a damn about batteries. So you got two ketchup bottles here. They're both the same. This one in the opening, you stick in a knife and you widen the opening. So that means when you go to squeeze that ketchup, which is the camera drawing the power from the ketchup bottle here, you're able to squeeze out a lot more over a given period of time. Over here, the camera is demanding more ketchup per unit of time, but it can't. You're sitting there squeezing it hard, and that squeezing is resistance, and resistance translates into heat. You know what resistance is? Resistance is dragging, dragging your butt across the carpet. That is resistance, okay? Resistance, as you very well know, translates into heat. And once you have heat, then you have performance issues. Like if you were to put your like bare butt on a piece of glass that's been oiled, you could drag your butt for 100 miles, and you probably won't feel anything. Well, I don't know about 100 miles, but... You see, that is extremely low resistance. There's no heat buildup, basically. There's still friction, but, you know, you get my analogy now? I hope I made that analogy clear. The reason <laughs> that your X-T1 battery cannot be pushed to the wall in your X-T2 camera is the same reason if you have two different ketchup bottles, both with the same size opening to squirt, <laughs> squirt that ketchup out, if the X-T2 battery has a larger opening. That means when the camera needs the power, more power, Scotty, that this battery, the X-T2 battery, which is marked in orange, is able to deliver. The X-T1 battery is going more power to the X-T1 battery, but the X-T1 battery, it's only got a small little catch-up opening. And the more you squeeze it, the camera is trying to squeeze it out, and that creates resistance. The resistance translates into heat, and the heat results in a voltage going, the voltage of the battery going... This is an absolute, hardcore, irrefutable fact of lithium batteries. Resistance, then heat, then voltage drop. And once you have voltage drop, wah, then the X-T2 camera does this number. Ah, ah, ah. It chokes. So, I hope I made that perfectly clear. You can use the X-T1 battery in your X-T2 camera. But you cannot use the X-T1 battery in your X-T2 camera. Stick it on continuous high and push it up against the wall. Brrr, ain't gonna work. Okay? They made this battery different for a reason. I think that clarified things. I'm pretty sure that clarified things to a certain degree. Thanks for watching. I love analogies. Analogies are so good because they always clear things up for people. Oh my god, I get it now. <laughs>